like my moves. Yes, I feel like I want to move so much for coming to, to our fundraiser here. Um, and it's wonderful today to have this close group of friends. Most of you are people who over the years um, I've dealt with, uh, and I could say beyond people who are being supporters, many of you are friends uh, who have, have helped me do the work that we've done in our district. This, um, this fundraiser has been sponsored by my two friends, uh, Adriano, uh, Congressman Adriano Espaillat and Congressman Tom Swazi. Uh, Adriano had something last minute, he's not able to make it, but he, uh, he recorded a message for us, which we're going to play right now. Hi, this is Congressman Adriano Spaglia. I'm sending this message to thank all of you that are there supporting my good friend, Assemblyman Phil Ramos, who has represented his district in Long Island with distinction for many, many years. I was a witness of that great work he does in Albany as a colleague of his in the state legislature. So I want to thank you for the support you're giving him tonight towards his reelection. I support him as well. I could not be there tonight with you uh, in, in person, but my spirit is there and I will continue to support Phil. Gracias a todos ustedes por estar ahí en apoyo a nuestro gran hermano, asambleísta Phil Ramos, quien han hecho un gran trabajo en su distrito y a través de todo Long Island. Yo vi su trabajo en Albany como su colega en la Asamblea Estatal. Yo también apoyo su reelección y le doy las gracias a ustedes por apoyar la reelección de mi gran amigo, el asambleísta Phil. Well, I thank Adriano. I thank him for his support. Good friend, he used to serve in the assembly with me. 
and he went on to be the first Dominican American to become a congressman uh, in the United States. A real, a real trail, trailblazer. From Virginia. Uh, he is from Washington, Washington Heights. Heights. Yeah, in that area, part of Bronx, also. Another friend I want to introduce is somebody who we, I go way back with, and somebody who I respect so much for the things that he's done. Uh, and you know, everyone says that about elected officials, but, but this man I really respect because this is a man who stood up on principles on things that went against the current at the time years ago when I was a police officer. He was a mayor in Glen Cove, was it? Or in Glen Cove, and uh, there was an issue, you know, on Long Island. There was always an issue with day laborers and uh, communities rejecting him. And this man, as mayor back then, was the first elected official in Long Island to create a hiring hall where day laborers can line up and didn't, they didn't cause any kind of quality of life issue uh, with traffic or anything like that. And he did this, even though that idea was not something popular at the time, uh, something that I truly admire. He went on to become county executive in Nassau County at a time when in Suffolk County, we had a county executive, Steve Levy, um, who was his entire political identity was based on anti-immigrant sentiments. A lot of things we hear at a national le level now, we used to hear from Steve Levy come, coming back then. He would blame the immigrant community for many things. He wanted to make the police officers in Suffolk County into, he wanted to give them immigration powers, which would mean they could stop me, a Puerto Rican who doesn't need a green card, and demand that I prove that I'm American. And if I didn't have the proof on me, they could bring me to the precinct. At that time, we had such a contrast in, in Nashville County with uh, Tom Swazi, who stood up, went up against the grain, did not cooperate with those forces that wanted to come in and advance uh, uh, anti-immigrant um, sentiments and policies, and truly stood up and had my back at a time when the things I was fighting for were not popular in, in Suffolk County. So I would like to introduce my wonderful, wonderful friend. He's had a lot of titles in his life, mayor, congressman, but the title I'm most proud to call him is Fred, Tom Swan. Thank you. I, uh, that's so nice. I, I'm just happy you got my name, my name right, Dr. Romano, I'm not reminding everybody of the story I used to tell about, uh, my name's Tom Swazi, S-U-O-Z-Z-I. -Z so first of all, Dr. Roman knows me. You guys don't really know me that well. You're out in Oakdale, and you're newcomers to the area, you know, these folks have only been living here for two weeks. They, they're, 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 <laughs> originally, yeah, they're, they're originally, they're originally from Afghanistan. Even though she grew up here on Long Island and in Canada, you grew, you came here about in your twenties, right? Right. It's really remarkable. And then these three guys, these are a bunch of political guys. I love these guys. <laughs> he works with Steve Ballone, as really runs the day-to-day -day operations for him. Mohinder is one of the most effective people as far as introducing immigrants to the larger community. When I was first county executive, I got elected right after, right after September 11th of 2001, and I took office, and I appointed Mohinder to be the first turban-wearing Sikh anywhere in the United States of America to a political appointee's job. And nobody knew that Sikh, nobody knew. Nobody knew that. There's kind of a common theme here. We've got some relatively new immigrants, I guess, Louis, you're pretty much an immigrant. You're, you're an immigrant. Years you both helped immigrants. John's always been great on immigration issues. My wife, Helene, I guess you're not really an immigrant at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my father's a first generation Italian. <laughs> my father was born in Italy, so I'm a first generation Italian American. Uh, you guys, I don't know, you, you don't have no immigrant story here, though, today, do you? I'm, I'm uh, Jim Bort. Jim Bort, <laughs> it's all mixed together. Thank you. <laughs> and a wonderful man. And uh, who's the new guy who just got here? Hi, Hi. good evening. Pat Lespinas, I'm with Brad and Weinrock. Oh, nice to see oh, you. Nice to see you. Tom Swazi, nice to see you. I know who you are. <laughs> and Dr. Roman is a, uh, 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 and his wife, are, he's a famous pediatrician for many, many years. He's just called his third generation family, three generations of families he's treated, from the grandparents to the, to the parents to the, to the children. Anyway. Phil is one of the greatest advocates I have ever seen in public life advocating for all types of immigrants. I'm sure he started out you know, advocating for uh, Latinos mainly, uh, but I've seen him in so many different environments advocating for immigrants. And, and he told a great story one time, I hope you're not going to tell it tonight, where he talked about, because I'm going to tell it, where he talked about 
how you know when first people first immigrate to the country, they're so busy taking care of their family, taking care of just making sure they make enough money in their job, you know, integrating into society, that they're not really that involved in politics or in public life. But then you, they see their children, when they get come, they start getting more involved in the community and they start integrating more into the fabric of the political life in America. And I've seen uh, Phil give counsel to people, advice to people as to how to be more effective politically so that the newcomers in our society could actually be as effective as possible and integrated into the political life and thereby get services and help uh, from government. And uh, you, know, you, heard, you know that he's a police officer, or was, was a police officer and detective, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he's just a, a, a great example of someone in public life that really genuinely cares about people. He really wants to help people. And uh, you know, politics is a crazy thing, you know, with all the back and forth and the fundraising and the, all the events you go to and all the different machinations of you know who's up, who's down, this and that. When it's all said and done, it's really not worth doing it unless you're actually helping people. It's not worth all the grief. When I was young, I, I asked a guy, I was, I was clerking for a federal judge, and another guy clerking for a federal judge down the hall was actually a priest. And I said to him, I said, I don't know if I want to go into politics because I have a big ego and I want people to clap for my speeches, or if it's because uh, I like the competition and the game, and you know, who's, I'm going to prove I'm right and they're wrong, who's going to win, uh, or because I really want to make the world a better place to live in. He says, well, you're a human being. He says, you're probably motivated by all three of those things. He said, your challenge in your life is going to be to aspire to your more noble ambitions, which is to try to make the world a better place. And having been in office uh, off and on over a 25, 26 year period now, I was mayor of my hometown. I was first elected in 1993, took office in January of 1994. And the place he mentioned, the Shape Up Center for the day workers from Central and South America that we created, was the first one not only on Long Island, it was the first one on the East Coast of the United States of America. They'd only done it in California before. And it was fantastic as far as communities with a lot of problems in our community and helping a lot of people. Those same guys who were on the street corners 25 years ago now have their own houses, their own businesses, and their children went to school with my children. And, uh, and it's still off that our country has not addressed the, that problem. All these issues are so important. Everything that Phil deals with on a regular basis as a state assemblyman is real life serious business for people. And the conversation of politics has gotten very small, and very petty, and very cynical, and everybody's sick of everybody, and nobody's any good, and everybody's a bum, and blah, 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 blah. We have to figure out how to lift up the conversation in our country to discuss these important issues to try and make people's lives better. And that's going to require good people. And Phil is an example of a good person that we're lucky to have in public service that's devoted his life to it, first as a police officer, now as an assembly member, um, that's really devoted his life to trying to help people. And we're very lucky to be here with him tonight, or to have him in that position, I should say. And we're very grateful to all of you for being here to support him. So ladies and gentlemen, our man of the hour, Phil Ramos. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to thank you again for your friendship. And uh, Tom brings friendship to a belt level. He is here today, and today is Tom's birthday. Yeah. 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 And again, I want to thank you on behalf of my wife and I, Angela. Thank every, each and every one of you for being here. I hope you enjoy your meal.